It's a privilege to be here today for this very special fixture. Every time they meet each other, these two teams, it is a very special day. Hopefully it lives up to the billing. Join us for the kickoff, and it's live. One of the stately homes of English football, Old Trafford in Manchester. That's where we are today. And a lovely day it is too. Martin Tyler calling the game for you along with Alan Smith. We have Premier League action for you coming right up. Manchester United against Chelsea. I love visiting this ground. Really been disappointed with the entertainment on offer. Don't think I will be today either. Harry Maguire. Number six, Paul Pogba. Well, whenever transfer rumours come up, it always seems to be takers for Edinson Cavani. Sometimes he moves, sometimes he doesn't. Well, he's the danger man. He stands out a mile for the kind of league form. The goals he scored, can they handle him? Can they stop him? got three changes for Chelsea in this team. Thiago Silva plays with Kurt Zuma in central defence. Jorginho plays with Angolo Conte in the middle of midfield. And the last player on the team sheet is the one main forward. A scene of so many triumphs in the Premier League era, particularly under Alec Ferguson's management. Now a stand named after him, quite rightly so, Alan. Yeah, without question. He sits up there, proudly watching his old team. Most uh, home games. It is a magnificent stadium. Always enjoy coming here. Now Marcus Rashford. Taking on the opposition and the responsibility as well. One or two players arriving in the middle. Here's Jorginho. Conte. Guy Havertz anticipated the direction of the pass and was able to intervene. They're looking good when they attack. Great tackling technique to win the ball cleanly. Havertz. Rashford. Well, this Manchester United team have really made the most of what we call home advantage. Their home record is the best in the league. Marvellous stuff. 11 wins in 15 games. Superb. Patrado. Chop back. A great work by the keeper. And that's a corner for Manchester United. Decided to go short. Could have given away a penalty, but the tackle was clean. Bruno Fernandes! What a dive to reach it and make the save. One of the saves of the season so far. Corner swung in. Keeper has reached it and rescued his side. the ball out wide with time to assess the situation. Havertz. Werner. Saw the pass and dealt with it. Got the ball and they're going at the opposition with speed. Might just be in here from that little chip pass. Pulls it back rather than crosses. Sweeping upfield and scoring in style. Well, that is the perfect example of a modern-day counter-attack, Martin. Wonderful. Great passing. It is a passing game, and in the end, he's passed it into the net. It was all about decision-making, picking out the right pass. They did that brilliantly. In front here at Manchester United. the edge Rashford 
Pogba. Bruno Fernandes. Van der Beek prepared to just pass the ball around in their own half. Winning the game, as the scoreline tells you. It's good work here in terms of possession. Can they find the final pass? That's not what he wanted to do. A poor pass. Good interception. They've lost the ball. Conte. Werner. Conte. Werner. Chance for Chelsea. To the rescue and how. I guess Chelsea are what you call new money in the game, although Roman Abramovich took over in 2003. But it's been pretty solid success and silverware since then, one or two exceptions. Oh, they've had plenty to shout about, haven't they? I know some Chelsea fans do pine for the old days when the money wasn't behind the club, but uh, they have had some fantastic days, nights to celebrate. News of a goal in the Spurs game from Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Wolverhampton Wanderers. 33 minutes played, 1-0. Top work, Alan. We're back here now with Alan Smith. Havertz. Well, that's not so much an interception as a poor pass. Ah, that's one he'd like to see again, a back heel, brilliant. James. Werner. Ziyech. Still searching for an equaliser. There's some good interplay here. It's a good hit. Simple save for David De Gea. Well, the stats tell the story. They've just not been good enough going forward when they've had the opportunity to find the right pass. They've been a bit hesitant. Werner. Behind the defenders, over their heads. Enterprising attacking play, but not quite enterprising enough. Two more minutes to play of added time. Minimum of two minutes of added time. And they're stopped in their tracks by a raised flag from the assistant. Well, I thought, you know, he timed his run perfectly there, but no, they kept a good straight line and they caught him. Well, we've got an angle on this uh, offside. Well, the referee has signalled for half-time, and it's 1-0 here. Well, at half-time, Manchester United very much on track to continue their fine home form. Still some work to do in the second half, because I can see a fight back coming from the visitors. Chelsea to start this second half, then. Havertz. Chilwell. Guy Havertz. Now Jorginho. James. Conte. Continue to knock the ball around, looking for the opening. The equaliser here. Good stretch by the goalkeeper to push that away from danger. A corner coming up for Chelsea, and they need to make good use of it. In goes the corner. It's broken down, and they'll have to try again. One date for your diary on EA Sports, the upcoming Premier League fixture for the hosts. He loves these situations, Rashford. Off he goes. Chance to put it in the box from here. A deep cross, back post. It's a very good clearance, and it was needed. Here's Jorginho. Alan, what about Chelsea's next game? Opening them up with a through pass. Werner! Good save. And Chelsea put it into the net.
It's the kind of goal that forwards love, actually, because it rewards their ability to follow in, their anticipation. Yeah, ends up being a simple-looking goal, but it wasn't. As you say, it was about anticipation. Well, you can't blame him. The manager is delighted with the character his team has shown to get back into this game. So, away we go at one all. Donny van der Beek, Pogba, Bruno Fernandes, van der Beek. Today's transfer news involves Manchester City, at least speculation that Manchester City about to do a deal. I can see why they would be going for this play. I think the squad does need a lift, and uh, to get that, I think it's going to cost about £40 million. What will Chelsea say to that? Looking to create an opening. Fernandez, Cavani, still a chance, in. oh, struck the post. What a game we've had here, it's been ding-dong, really, back and forth, chances for both sides. Quadrado. These fans can sense their team is grabbing the ball by the horns here, taking charge, got to make it count, though. They've lost the ball. Now that's a throw. Pulisic. Looks the shoot. Just a reminder of what a great keeper he is. And he's a big lad and he needed every inch of his frame there. And in it goes. Well, I thought it was in, Alan. Off the line. He didn't give up, that's the great thing. He did not give up on it and got back just in time. Conte. Looking to attack it in the middle. And there's the goal! A brilliant header, and no-one knows it more than the scorer himself. He's absolutely thrilled. Well, I've always been an admirer of good headers, and this was certainly one of those, a thumping effort. So a goal for Chelsea. Well, he could hardly miss that. From the right wing, that was a perfect delivery. And they got their reward for it. Well, it's a goal worth replaying over and over again, isn't it? Activity on the bench for the losing team. A substitute getting ready to come on. Manchester United have to try to come from behind. United coming off the pitch. Number 15, Edison Cavani. To be replaced by number nine. Time ticking on. Just over 15 minutes to go. See Edge. Chasing the game here, Manchester United, in these closing minutes. I don't think they expected to be in this position at this stage. Maguire. Sergi Roberto. Pogba. Gomez. Now Anthony Martial. And here they are, still probing away. Oh, this could be a chance. He stopped it, incredibly, I think. It's a corner. And it could be absolutely crucial as they look for this equaliser. It might be the last decent chance they get. Corner swung in. What a good chance for the header. Did well to get ahead of his man, but the header was less than impressive. Counting down in the last ten minutes here. Nine to go. Christian Pulisic. And there's the interception. Still fighting Manchester United. 
but still trailing here in the closing minutes. Well, they played pretty well for me. They've just been a bit unlucky. They need this could bring them level, but no, a really wasted opportunity. Oh my word! So late in the match, and that might be that for this team. He's put in the corner, solidly away. Now he wants to take them on. Rashford. It's an excellent cross. That's a shame, because in the end, that'll go down as a poor cross, really. Got the ball, and they're going at the opposition with speed. Now Jorginho. And the decision for the added time is three minutes. Werner. Ziyech. He's one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. That is a supreme save at full stretch. They've got the lead, they've got the corner. The ball's in the right end of the pitch for them. They can do several things here, they don't have to whip it in. Corner's taken. He works so hard on his heading. He needs to do a bit more work, I think. Yeah, the keeper's waving that one bye-bye. That will go down as a wasted chance. Well, service like that, you cannot complain about it, and it's a really poor header from him. Now Jorginho. It's finished here. Hard fought, this win. Two very evenly matched teams. Yeah, sometimes it feels even better than if you were to win 3 or 4 nil. Well, that is a shock, a real shock. United beaten at home. It is, and maybe a, a wake-up call for them. Maybe they were a little bit careless in possession at times, and the manager will be trying to get them back on track now.